What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to bring you a little something different and then I'm going to go back to more of a parent kind of dad corner and talk about two strollers, two different types. Uh, these are probably the most popular ones out there uh, when it comes to types and what we have here is a jogging stroller and then what we have is more of a compact uh, city, more, more, just a more compact overall stroller. So I kind of want to talk about the differences. We own both and I'll kind of go over the reasons why and maybe why two may be appropriate for you, they may not. I don't know, they're very expensive, which we'll talk about that when we go in. Um, the first thing is, this is the Bob Revolution 3. It usually retails for about $499, so usually about $500 is what this will run. I did get it on sale for about $415. You can get it on sale from time to time, um, but it's a rather large stroller, as you can see here, basically covers up my whole body. Uh, and I'll get you some shots of it uh, up as we go we talk about it. And this is the baby jar where this is the city tour. Uh, this generally retails for $199. I spent $99 on this. So it was pretty cheap and this one goes on sale more frequently. So you can find it a decent amount of times on sale on Amazon, Bye Bye Baby. Uh, there's a couple other baby websites you can buy it for. And as you can see, it's very small compared to the, the actual uh, jogging stroller here. So, two things to consider here. If you're obviously if you're not going to jog, I'm not really sure I would do a jogging stroller, but it could still be for you. Uh, so originally we bought the, the Bob Revolution uh, 3.0 because my wife wanted to be able to jog with it uh, as she progressed along. She took almost a full 12 weeks off, so she didn't want to be stuck inside. So she did want to have the ability, even though you're not supposed to jog with these till they get your baby gets, I think, six weeks, six months. Uh, check the manual before you do any type of jogging with anything. Uh, each shoulder is a little different. Uh, but we wanted one because we're a little bit more active, so we wanted something that was a little bit better for uh, just getting out. Uh, we have some nice, nice trails around here uh, and some nice parks to go to. Uh, so that's what we originally bought. Uh, and generally with the, the larger strollers, uh, you will notice that they will not fit in a lot of cars. I uh, had it we used to have a chico jogging stroller that actually did not fit in my wrx which i had before which a wrx is similar to a civic corolla in the size wise so it would not actually fit in the trunk uh, so you do have to keep that in mind just to make sure that it fits this one folds up a little easier uh, a little more compact but um, with the larger strollers you're going to have some type of suspension for the jogger ones and you're going to have overall more storage uh, that's the one thing we really like about the jogging one is that there's tons more storage in here. So if you're doing something out in a park, you're going to be using the stroller for four, five, six hours. This is the one I would recommend just because of how much storage there is for it. There's a whole lot more accessories for it for, uh, when you compare it to a smaller stroller. And it's a lot smoother. So the handlebar goes up and down. You can adjust it. There's more adjustability. You can adjust the suspension. It has larger tires on it. Uh, and it just overall has a smoother design. It also has a front wheel here on the front, which actually locks, uh, which I, I think is nice. Um, and this one has, I'm not sure if the small ones have more accessories, but there's a ton of accessories you can get for this. We got a tray table for the front. Um, uh, we have tire pump, which you can get for it, so these tires are known to go flat from time to time. Uh, so that's the big thing with the, with the larger ones, they just obviously have more room. It's the same thing with a vehicle, you have more actual room and ability to be able to uh, put more stuff in it. And it's a little bit more comfortable for uh, the, the baby, toddler, kid, however you want to, uh, you know, whatever type of size uh, little one you're putting in here. Uh, and it has a better harness, I find. Uh, it seems to put them in a little bit more secure, obviously because it's a jogging controller, so it wants to be more of a, it's more of like a race car type of, of harness on it. Um, so that's mainly the big, the big positive. There's just a whole lot more that you can do with it. The big negative is that it's expensive. Almost all the jogging strollers, there's not very many of them actually. I think there's only eight to 10 that I find that are legit jogging strollers. Uh, so as you can ask some of them, say that you, they're labeled as jogging, but they're actually not if you actually look into them. Um, so they're generally really expensive. So this is between $415 and $500. I've never seen it below $400. So you're gonna pay a pretty premium for it, but you can tell with the build quality, uh, it's got a decent amount of metal to it. But that's probably my only negative is the size and the actual size, weight, and uh, price of it. So it is a little bit heavier. It's crazy how much heavier it is compared to this small one. 
Uh, I would say it's probably three times, maybe four times of the weight of it. Uh, but it does have a little bit more metal on it. It's a little chunkier. Uh, it can hold more, so it's kind of a, a trade-off you have there. If you're not going to jog with it, uh, this is where I would go into, uh, this is uh, the Baby Jogger, this is the City Tour. I do like their Mini GT uh, one also, uh, but we just wanted something cheap for vacation. So we, we're going on vacation, currently our 16 month old doesn't even like being in a stroller, so we didn't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, we were going to get one of the umbrella strollers that you can get for like 40 bucks, but they are felt so cheap. And this was on sale and it goes on sale frequently, so we picked it up. Uh, so the first thing I noticed about this show is just how much lighter it is. So it is easy to carry around. Uh, both these shoulders actually fold up pretty easily, but this one's way easier. It's just one hand, then you can fold it up uh, really easy with just that one hand. So this one requires a few more steps. You got to fold the arm down, and then you got to uh, go in and actually fold uh, pull up on it. Actually, I don't even remember how to uh, to fold it up now because we very rarely travel with this one. We almost always take this one. Uh, so that's the that's big positive is that this, this is just cheaper and it's way easier to, way more compact, easier to to lug around. It'll fit in every car. I have 100%, I'm almost 100% sure it'll fit in everything where this one will not. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a large stroller. It's, it's a little bit more compact than some of the other jogging strollers, but it will not fit in every vehicle's trunk, so keep that in mind. Uh, the harness is nice on this. Uh, it's kind of cumbersome. Uh, it has the same kind of more like a race car kind of strap harness in, uh, but uh, the plastic things are just not very well made. Uh, it's always falling apart, the little plastic pieces where I have to put them back together. Uh, so it's, it's, you can definitely tell that it's not as, as nice. Uh, there's not as much room in here. So our 16 month old is a little taller. So him in here, I don't see how this would last until they're four, five, six years old, where this one, you have a lot more flexibility, more room. Probably not gonna be on a stroller at that point, but you never know if you went to you know Disney or a park like that. Um, the canopy on this does not go as far over, so it doesn't have as much shade protection, whereas in the jogging one, it uh, actually really has a huge shade on it. So you actually can do a decent amount and uh, outside in the sun, and you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the arms do not adjust on this, the actual handle here. Uh, so it is just stationary how it is, which is kind of annoying uh, that you can't move that because I prefer it to be a little further down, uh, but it's just something that you just can't do. Uh, their, their other one, their City Mini one, I believe you can, but this one actually has a ton of customizability on it, so you can lower it and raise it. Uh, and go into that. Uh, these generally come with all the accessories you need. Very rarely do I find that they actually have accessories to attach on. This one may actually because uh, Baby Jogger is pretty good about being able to get accessories for their stuff. Um, it feels kind of plasticky and cheap, uh, which uh, is kind of shocking considering it's $200 retail if you just pay regular retail for it. Um, what else? I'm sure it has a weight limit on it. I'm not sure what it would, what it would be, but uh, that would be my big concern is that they would outgrow this fairly quickly. Not that they're going to be in it that long uh, to begin with. Currently, ours doesn't even like sitting in anything uh, right now. Uh, there's not as much storage on the bottom, so the storage is rather puny on the bottom here compared to uh, the actual jogging shoulder, just because of how much larger it is. Uh, and the jogging shoulder actually has an accessory where you can put some drinks and stuff up here at the top. So it has this little thing up here, it has the tire pump in it also, where you can put some drinks and stuff in. Uh, and it's just, let's see, it's much heavier. Uh, but that'll give you a decent comparison. The only reason we have both is because this one's easier to travel, and my wife 100% wants to keep the jog controller. I actually was going to think about getting rid of it, just because our little one doesn't like being in it, but we do plan on having more than one kid, so we're going to keep it around. Uh, and she really likes it, uh, just for Every once in a while he'll, he'll be okay being in it, but uh, I would be okay with just this one, personally. Uh, you can get a backpack or something to carry your stuff around, you don't necessarily need to have it all in the cart. Uh, but it is nice. Uh, we took this on vacation and when we did a day of shopping, it did become fairly full, so the bigger one would have been nice there, but then it probably wouldn't have fit in the car because uh, we had it already jam-packed. Uh, so that's it. They both have huge benefits, huge, huge ups and downs. Um, 
maybe I'll even get a jogging one used. We actually sold our other one used for uh, about probably one third of what we paid for it new. So that is something you can actually do. Um, that's it. I'm not an expert on this stuff. There's other YouTube videos for that. I just thought I'd throw this up real quick. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, leave them below. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.